What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Community Chess channel, the junk removal service that's changing the game. This is episode 6 of our weekly series, We Sold That, where we show you our favorite sales that we've made throughout the week. We drop these videos every Monday, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and press that little bell notification so that you're notified every single time we drop a new piece of content. So to kick it off this week, we had two killer shoe sales. First up, we have here the Nike Cortez 72. This was the retro limited edition colorway. They were in excellent condition. They came with the box, the original tissue paper, as you see, and they were very lightly worn. The leather's in excellent condition. They even still have the shoe stopper still in them. Overall, a beautiful shoe. Sold for $62 plus shipping, and it took about a month for us to sell. These came from an Instagram buyout that we did, and in the same Instagram bio, we actually sold this next pair of shoes, which was the Nike Air Max 1 Premium. These were in that dark gray suede colorway. And the, uh, when I was looking up comps on eBay, I noticed that the only other people selling this shoe were from Europe, so I was the only US-based seller. So I was able to list these a little bit higher than I typically would. And they sold for a total price of $107.39 plus shipping. Now switching gears from shoes to clothing, we actually sold 11 pieces of Abercrombie & Fitch this week. Uh, that is a huge bolo, which stands for be on the lookout for. As a matter of fact, it is the number one brand selling on Poshmark right now, and it is also the number one brand that is being listed. On top of that, another thing to look out for is the Sherpa lined or the parka style jackets. Those typically sell for a much higher value than just regular Abercrombie and Fitch pieces. And another fun fact, all the pieces that you see here on the screen, they actually all came from the same local buyout that we did. The, the client actually grew out of all his Abercrombie and Fitch clothing and wanted to get rid of all of the clothes that he had in his closet, so we came through and did a one-time buyout. If you guys ever want to sell or consign something with us, feel free to send us a DM or send us an email at info at Community Chess, and we'd love to see what you got and work with you there. And moving on, we sold five vintage items. First off on Poshmark, we sold the Vintage Chase Authentics Tony Stewart two-piece sweatsuit. This was actually a thrift pickup, and we picked it up for around $6.99 for both pieces. And this item sold on Poshmark for $36 plus shipping, which left us with a total profit of $28.80. It did take about two months for us to sell, but that is because we listed it in the summertime, and as the seasons change, now that it's fall and winter, people are more inclined to buy sweatsuits and sweaters and things like that. Moving on, we sold a 1995 Grateful Dead 30 year anniversary t-shirt and this was on a liquid blue tag made in USA. I'm gonna pop the tag up right here so you can see what an authentic liquid blue tag looks like. There's actually a lot of fakes going around in the market ever since the hype wear culture started getting used to these types of things. This t-shirt actually came from a junk removal service and fun fact, when we were doing the junk removal service, this t-shirt was on the floor all crumpled up and it looked like it was even used as kind of like a cleaning rag. But when we unfolded it, I was just shocked to see that it was actually a Grateful Dead, let alone a 30th anniversary Grateful Dead tee and it sold for a total price of $110.25 all in to the buyer. And next up we sold a vintage 90s Fossil North America watch and this actually also came from a junk removal service. It was in one of the drawers in a dresser that we were removing and when we were listing it I was looking up comps on eBay to see any similar solds and the only other ones that were listed were they had the same watch but it had the Europe background so we had North America so I listed it at a similar price as those other listings and it sold in three days for a total price of $28 ship. Since it sold so quickly we could have got a little more money off of it but we were zero dollars invested into this item so I couldn't really complain. And next up we sold a 1987 Basset Hound Piggy Bank plush toy. This was also from a junk removal service. It was brand new with tags and we were looking up comps for the brand which is Love a Bank. We couldn't find anything about it uh, so what we did was listed it similar to other plush piggy banks like it but we used the keywords and item specifics rather than the brand to sell this and it sold for a total price of $35.32 all into the buyer. This item also sold in about a week. And last on our vintage list we sold a 1994 Camel Smoke and Joe lot. This included a pen, lighter, and a pack of cards, as well as the original catalog that it came with. I thought these items were really cool. They were all in pristine condition. And rather than selling them individually and by piece by piece, we lotted them all up so that they'd sell one time and for one good price, and they sold for $40 plus shipping. All right, guys, so the biggest sale that we made of the week, we sold a MacBook Air 13-inch, the 2015 edition. We got this from a local buyout with one of our photographers, Finley. He's actually the photographer for a lot of our Instagram posts. If you go check us out on there, he does do most of the posts that we have on there. He's a great photographer. He actually took my graduation pictures. I'm gonna link all his information down in the bio, so if you're in the area, you wanna check him out or use his services, feel free to. He's a great guy, he does great work, and he does great affordable prices. 
So this laptop sold for a total price of $425 plus shipping, and it took about five days to sell. And there you have it! That's going to do it this week on episode 6 of our weekly series, We Sold That. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and press that little bell notification so that you're notified every single time we drop a new piece of content. Soon we're going to be rolling out new videos of other content, not just our We Sold videos, so be sure to stick around to see what we have in store for you. Until next time, I'm Nick. Peace out.